The monster who said no. Max the monster. On the bright yellow star of Alpha Leparis, Max the reckless red monster was up to his usual antics. His rude monster family had just given him a very important mission, to go to Earth and cause as much chaos and mayhem as possible. Max, we need you to go down to that pathetic little planet and wreak havoc, his mother, the head rude monster, commanded. Mess up the human children's rooms, steal their snacks, and generally make a nuisance of yourself. Max's eyes lit up with glee, and he couldn't wait to get started. Oh, this is going to be so much fun, he cackled, rubbing his large purple hands together. But just as he was about to hop into his trusty little green car, his mother stopped him. And remember, Max, you better not say no to me again, she warned, her sharp fangs bared in a menacing snarl. If you do, there will be serious consequences. Max hesitated for a moment, his big purple nose twitching with uncertainty. He had a history of pushing the boundaries with his family, and he knew that they didn't take kindly to disobedience. But the temptation of causing chaos on Earth was just too great to resist. Oh, come on, Mom. Can't I just have a little fun? He whined, his eyes pleading. His mother's expression darkened, and she pointed a clawed finger at him. When you learn to follow orders, then you can have all the fun you want, she growled. But right now, you need to get down to earth and do your job. No more excuses. Max knew better than to argue with his mother when she was in this mood. Reluctantly, he hopped into his car and blasted off towards the familiar blue and green planet, his mind racing with all the mischievous possibilities. As he approached the bustling city, Max quickly changed his face to look like a friendly, cuddly monster, the perfect disguise to lure unsuspecting children. He landed his car in a quiet suburban neighborhood and began stealthily making his way towards the nearest house. But just as he was about to slip inside, he paused, a mischievous idea forming in his mind. You know what? I don't think I feel like causing trouble today, he said to himself, his big purple nose twitching with defiance. Max turned on his heel and headed back towards his car, fully aware that he was going against his family's orders. He knew that there would be consequences, but the thrill of saying no was just too tempting to resist. When Max returned home, his rude monster family was waiting for him, their expressions dark and menacing. Where's the chaos, you idiot? His mother demanded, her sharp claws flexing. Max took a deep breath, steeling himself for the inevitable backlash. I didn't feel like it today, he said simply, his voice unwavering. His family members erupted into a chorus of outraged shrieks, their anger palpable. How dare you defy us, his father roared, his eyes burning with fury. When you learn to follow orders without question, then you can go back to Earth and cause as much trouble as you want, his mother hissed, her fangs bared in a vicious snarl. But until then, you're grounded. Max's shoulders slumped in defeat, but deep down, he couldn't help but feel a sense of pride. He had stood up to his family, even if it meant facing their wrath. And who knows, maybe one day, he'd be brave enough to say no again, consequences be damned. After all, a monster like Max was never one to back down from a challenge. The thrill of defiance was just too tempting to resist, even if it meant a little temporary punishment. He was willing to test the limits, 
and he knew that his family's threats wouldn't keep him down for long. The end for now.